What's going on YouTube? Coach Apathy back in the building. Hope you guys are having a great day. And in today's video, I'm going to be explaining the importance of staying alive. I'm going to be showing you a clip. Pretty much you guys are going to watch it. After that, I'm going to break it down and explain play by play why everything was so important, exactly what I was doing. Me staying alive in the place I did was a huge reason why we came back. We were down by so many points at the start. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. So we started off really, really, really bad. As you can see, we only have two points on the end of the second hill. Huge joke the shit out of me. Oh my god, he gets me so mad, but he's still a good player. And basically, I was so frustrated. I was so mad. I just I just let it all go. I started calling out a lot. You know, I started communicating very well. I um, started going really hard and playing my life. And we we slowly started making the comeback. You know, composure is key also. Hey, I want one more hill. Reef, reef the hill. Left side. Oh, dead. Reef, 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 reef. Or window, back door, back door, slasher. Two there, two there, Tempen. Uh, yeah, side door, slasher, side door, slasher, side door, slasher. Back door, back door, back door, back door, back door, back door. It's really weak. Need three piece. One more. One more back door, back door, back door. All right. Two side alive. door. Damn it, two side door. One more, one more, one more. Flank, one flank. I got the kid flanking. I'm coming in hill with you. Window. Dead. Oh, Double. Nice. Three nice. dead. Ah, uh, first hard point. First hard point. Good job. One more, one more on you, flash. One more on you. Never mind. You got him. You got him. Three dead. I'm watching purple from here. Purple, purple. I got one. I got two. Top three. Yes. Coming hill. No. At least one of you. At least they're pushing in for you. They're pushing for. They, they want those spawns. Back, back, back hill. Back hill. Back hill. Right dead. Rotate. Rotate. Someone rotate. Top, top purple. Top purple. Pushing it. Top long. Top long. Blue cut. Blue cut. Blue cut. Behind yeah. you. Top long. One shot on you. Donnie. There's one more there. One more there. One more there. Get my Oscar. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Dead. Long dead. Yeah. They, they want the spawns. Just trying to get it. Yeah. Once cut already. Shoot the barrels if you can. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. I need to spawn out. Stay alive. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. They're pinching them. I'm pinching them. you. Top shack, top shack, top shack, top shack. There's bottom shack on me. There's two there, two there, Donnie or er, two there, Donnie, two, two of them. Hooks hurt, hooks hurt, two of them there. Down above, one's blue battery on me. Uh, bottom shack, bottom shack in the corner. On hill, one shot, on hill, one shot, temp. Back to hell, temp's really weak at live, I'm staying alive. Yo, Oscar, Oscar hurt, Oscar hurt. Two dead, one more Oscar, one more hill, one more hill, let's go, let's go. Keep it up, guys, we're coming back. So the thing about the blue hill, the main importance of it is staying alive inside and trading together. Also, flooding the hill as fast as you can to help your teammates so you're in a position to trade. That's exactly what we did here. I saw that my teammates were in it. I rushed straight through a window and I managed to go big and help my teammates out. I go big. I get some trades. I stay alive. I know nobody's in my in the hill with me. So I just go dash behind the box real quick. Challenge a little bit to push some shots. I clean up another kill. Hear a call out. Get the guy in the window. Hear another call out back door. Put some shots in with the last ammo. I pre-fire here. It probably wasn't my best interest. I should have just stayed down, stayed in the corner. Uh, a part of it was my fault, and for that, we got three down. But I managed to get a kid flanking. If he never flanked it, he flooded the hill. His teammate would probably would have won. I knew my teammate had the back door right there, so I immediately went behind the box and just preamed the window. That way, I'm in no position to die. I pretty much have a guaranteed kill, and I'm just staying alive in hill. I realized my whole teammate's at green, so I turned around purple. I get a nice two-piece. My teammate comes in the hill and converge. The main thing about this hill, you kind of want to have the last seconds of this hill because you want this blue spawn. Pushing blue to green is the best thing. So I go back to top long, see if there's anybody there. And my teammate dies again. I go back to top long, pick up this kill because we want these spawns. I want to hold this. I end up dying, but as you guys can see, we got a lot of points. We're back in this game and we're still in it. So here I spawn now. I see my teams all in the hill. I call out, stay alive. I'm pushing the pinch. You know, you want to get this green spawn. And I know they're all flooding there, so I can easily get a, a, some kills going. I get a nice two-piece. Now, wait. Stop right here. So the reason I stopped here is because this is very important. I got to show you guys. You guys saw I got a two-piece. And normally, anybody else would probably just jump right in the hill after that. But instead, you guys saw I got two kills. And I went down instead of jumping right in the hill because I know I have to stay alive. We have no map control. We have no hill control. I have no teammates near me. Me going into hill is a death trap. I'm just going to die immediately, leaving my teammates in a 3v4 or whatever the case may be. But they are going to be a man down. Staying alive is so important. If I'm staying alive right here, we can kill this guy blue battery and then all converge on the hill with have easily control and then we can all trade. So this is why this play right here helped a lot too. So you guys can see I call out the guy blue battery. I see him as well. I, I go challenge him. I get him. We have one down here. My teammates all have the front side of the hill. I get a two-piece. That's the last kid who killed me. He gets a two-piece, but they kill him. And now we have control of the map again. We're all just going to flood it. Three, we're spawning green, spawning green. My fault. One's ice, one's ice. Dead. Hold up, man. Hold up. They're going to push uh, around. Yeah, one's top, top long. He's going around. He's going around. Check it out. Let's go, Snick. My outside shack, Brian. One shot. Outside shack. Yeah, stomp the one back. Two on him, green. Go. Fight him, Snick. Fight him, Snick. Reaps on shot on hill, Reaps on shot on hill, guys. That shit happened. Reaps on board on hill. On hill, on hill, yeah, Reaps on me. Yeah, Tim got me, Tim got me. He's a bow out, Nick. 
Now this is another good example of staying alive. So we all spawned green, my teammate calls it out. I know I gotta watch the flanks because they're all pushing hill. I got a kid in ice. I spot a guy going top line, he's probably flanking blue after pre and he's not there. So I just stay alive, waiting for him. I know it's a big kill. I managed to get him as well. I stomp straight into the window. I want to stay alive. I need to stay alive. This is huge. Blue control is huge. I killed the guy who I stomped on. You know, I'm just applying pressure. I'm relieving pressure off the hill. Because you see, there was, there was about two, three guys on me. Unfortunately, we lost the hill, but that was just a good play overall. So I hope you guys understood how important it is to stay alive, especially in hardpoint. This matters, I think, the most in hardpoint. And uplink as well, mainly in respawns. And SD, obviously, you know, you want to stay alive with your teammates. But I hope you guys understand, you know, especially when it comes to map control and holding a certain position, people don't understand that it's not, obviously, it's not all about kills. It's not all about hill pressure. There's also fact, other factors in the game, in the respawn game, in the hard point, whatever the case may be. That, and staying alive is a huge factor for a lot of reasons. One, map control. Uh, two, help teammates coming to help you or playing with your team. Because if I die and my teammates just keep going one-on-one, on one-on-one, on one-on-one, on one, we're not really going to be trading effectively. And we're just going to keep dying by ourselves, right? So there's no, there's nothing really consistent going on. There's no really consistent game plan going on. But if we wait for each other, we play more as a team. If we have more control, for example, we get a kill. Uh, I get a kill. I stay mid-map. My whole team's dead. So I wait for them to come up. I'm just holding up a spot. And then we just converge on a hill. And it's just a more consistent way of playing and a better chance of winning. So if you guys enjoyed this little Coach Apathy video, this has been your boy Apathy. Or you want to call me Coach Apathy. And I'm out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys.